also have two windows uh, one where I would put as a text editor in this case it, it gives you me the instructions uh, how I will run through this tutorial and it will be included as part of the free demo file that you will get and, and normally on the bottom screen I would also like to have another uh, editor called the outliner just like the one you have on the top right except that I will set up with a filter and normally uh, I will only select things like lights empties and camera so that I can uh, make some changes to it in, in my scenario earlier on okay so so here uh, we are trying to emulate uh, a night scene right using a bar counter as an example uh, so how you put this reference picture is uh, simply go into add uh, with the image and select reference it will open up your folder and and uh, I assume you already have a picture that you have already uh, downloaded and you wanted to use it as your reference to build your enhancement so if you would select this example of a bar counter as your reference you can just click load reference image now and you will have this little thing that come out and you can expand it as you want all right now I have already loaded it so I don't need this this uh, reference so I will use the one that I have already preloaded in my demo file so I'm, I'm going to delete this and import an obj file all right select obj for this demonstration um, i have already downloaded uh, a free object asset here it's called bar counter 3 obj and and obj normally come with another file called the mtl then for material put it into your scene Uh, you don't see a lot of things on the screen only because I think this object is very small so what you do is that uh, you press numpad period to zoom into the object so this is a pretty small object but it looks okay uh, and it says you have a material dot mtl file so if you click to material alright uh, for this demo I'm going to use uh, the file that I have a pre-prepared to speed up the whole process so this is the same file that I downloaded earlier on as a demonstration to you of, of an OBJ file uh, sometimes it's helpful that before you apply a material onto your scene you may want to take a look at the material in an easier way right uh, I, I have a little Suzanne a monkey that typically use him blender that can allow you to see the, the the material in terms of lighting effect and so on so one of the thing i realized that if i would to use material and make sure that they are more or less the kind of material that i really wanted uh, it would be good to be able to view all your materials i know i found out that there's a very nice add-on called the metalog it's a free add-on that you can download uh, and then install into your into your environment a editor and I press N and I click on trees trees this is uh, part of the add-on material if you click on that you will it will list out all the material that is currently on your current blender file and it is it whenever you click onto one of the material it will display the the node setup obviously uh, Again, I will provide all this material as part of the demo file anyway. Uh, and this the tutorial doesn't cover how exactly I set up all this mater uh, material, but I will provide for free. So here, what, what I have already identified and, and consolidated are uh, like a few metal type of material. Uh, I, I'll probably be giving you a beer material for demonstration. More importantly, the glass, uh, I have a a number of glass material that we will run through now as I click onto the material notice that you can see it on the right hand side uh, on the preview this preview uh, 
on, on the property editor is quite helpful to that you can see what it looks like the other thing was the neon light effect which I call LED blue LED green LED pink white you can, you can see all this material and the, and the setup all right if you don't want to use this add-on that's fine too uh, you know you can always click on to each of the material in the property tab and select any one of them you know and you can always preview here all right so this is a manual way of doing it all right so assuming now you have checked all the material that you think is sufficiently ready and if not you will add on later on all right let's start with the top i think that looks pretty good so that might be the first object i want to enhance into a night scene so if i go in the render view at the moment there's nothing right it's black because it is the original color but if i would assign a, a, a color uh, to it now uh, what i want to do is to assign it to the color that i want to light up so which i have a number led so i think i want to do the blue color all right so this will light up blue and i found that there's another line another thin line that i can use and I, if i follow the example on the screen is blue but maybe instead of blue i may want to select something different maybe pink at this moment all right so i'm going back to the shading mode because it's easier to see uh, and identify what you want to light up so another area that i felt may be nice is you can see that there's a little blue light on the reference picture and i select this okay let, let's try with the blue material for these two first uh, led blue so the way i i'm going to assign next instead of going to the property menu i just select the object that i want to follow this color for example these two all right i want these two to follow this particular bar so i select that last i press ctrl l to link the material so now i have three bar that have the same color And now see that I have this blue light that appearing similar to the one on the reference side. So the diagram they have pink or white dish light at the bottom. So let me go back into shading mode and see if I can find something that I can also light up by the bottom and notice. Well, maybe it, it, again I can see that some vertical bar. Maybe I use that as the bottom light. So if I go back to random mode just to take a quick look. So now I have something pretty similar to the one on the reference diagram for lighting up this screen, right? On the television, all right, the television. So on my object bar counter, I don't have a television, but I have downloaded a, a TV, all right, on the left. So what I'll do is that Obviously, if you look at the bar counter, the TV is like hanging upside down, right? It's not putting on a desktop or something of that nature. So what I do is I, I select the TV screen and I need to put it upside down so that it, it looks like uh, RY180. I think that will reverse it. Okay, but, but I noticed that the TV screen is, okay, a little bit tilted too much on the left. So this is just a matter of adjustment, Rx, 
to adjust it a little bit all right the other thing is that if I want to attach it into the the, the top of the bar counter I I need to move the origin up to the to to the base of this TV right to hang it so one easy way is that you notice there's a little dot here this is the current uh, origin of the of the object right so a uh, simple way to move the origin up is to select the option on the top here click on origin just just the origin so that I can now move the origin upwards Control G Z to move it up so I can attach it nicely to the top there so now okay a bit of adjustment there let me show that it's kind of in the center of the top part don't have to be so precise okay now I got that done uh, I will have to disable the origin and make sure that it won't mess up with my other editing work okay so I want to attach it up there so to attach it easily up there I can enable this particular thing called a snap to so that you can snap the object there based on the origin and I'm going to put shift right click to position my cursor to the particular point where I want to put the TV now that I've done that I reselected the TV I just do a shift S and put the selection to the cursor because I have put the cursor to the top of the counter right so now and I really selected the the TV right and I put the origin at the top so if I now select selection to cursor you notice that the TV go automatically to the top now it's not in a very nice position I think the TV is a bit too big too so I'm going to make it a little bit smaller similar to the one on the, on the picture there and then uh, sh shift it GY to move it back a little bit up uh, I forgot to switch off this thing because when you have a snap on uh, when you do editing it's a little bit more tricky and, and normally another way I would do it is that I press N bar and go into item and use this uh, transform location to adjust it in a more final way Now this TV, uh, if I check carefully, it, it is one mesh, right? So, but the TV should be only appearing in the front. So how do I do that? Um, a simple way will be uh, selecting TV still. You do a uh, edit mode and then only, uh, okay, just make sure that you don't select everything. Uh, toggle X is currently on, so I had to switch that off. And then select uh, this, this uh, front of the TV to, to, to so that I can show uh, my picture later on. And I need to now go into what we call the object data property and I assign a vertex group. So what essentially this is now a group of vertexes or faces that I will be using to, to do the TV material. So now that I have this group uh, created, I have to assign it to test that I've done it correctly. Uh, I click somewhere else, unselect basically, and then select the group that will take selection later on. But this is what I have, all right. So what do I do next? Uh, it has uh, some material uh, on this original uh, object, but uh, what I want is a new material. Uh, a material which I need to assign to uh, but with a TV effect right because early on I show you I have a TV shader set yeah this TV so what I have now is a TV uh, displaying a particular uh, video Yeah. 
you have to adjust the number of frames that you want to run, all right? So maybe 2,000. I, I, I don't know. This this video could be very long, but I just say that I want to run this video from frame 1, from frame 2,000. So if I press space bar, which will to basically run the video, what? Okay, so that that's a video uh, or TV in this case uh, displaying. Um, in my setup, I I have this uh, way of setting up uh, with, with the light path node as well added in with emission all that is because I wanted this TV screen to be brighter. Uh, what I mean, you can see that if I increase the emission. The TV screen can be brighter or, or, or darker. This setup, uh, again, the tutorial doesn't focus on the, the shader, but if you follow this setup, the advantage of this setup is that it works very well in both uh, EV rendering and cycle rendering because of the light path here. Next, we will work on the glasses. Uh, but this, this glasses is not the color that we want. Uh, in this example, I will assign a uh, glass. I think the thin glass will look correct for this particular. Uh... So that would be glasses hanging up on the top. And the back, I can see some bottles. Let me see, look at this bottle. Now for for bottles, typically, uh, often you find objects have different components like the, the, the top cap, maybe a cup in between, and then the bottom part, all right? And sometimes they also have a label, but in this case, because they're all of the same material, you can't tell, right? So what I'll do is I select uh, the bottle and I do a tap to get into mesh mode and I do what I always do. So they are all the same material, but I want to see if I would do separate by loose part, how it looks like. So now that I've done the separate by loose part, I tap to go back to object mode and then check. So they do have a top part, they do have a cup, and they do have a body, right? The top part, uh, this is like a, a kind of a wine glasses, so a good material for that maybe is, let me see what kind of material I have, maybe uh, a dark glass. Uh, and here I'll assign the same thing, glass. Mm. Dark glasses. Oh, okay. It does look better this way. Oops. It does seem to have another object in between. So, so okay. So, in this case, this bottle has two layer. Now, I could make them... I could either delete it. Um, so, I move my cursor to the outline, press a period to zoom into that material. So if I were to hide this material, okay, so there's more than two parts. If I hide this material, it looks not too bad. Uh, in fact, I don't need this, this layer if I think this is good enough for me. So I can delete it. Similarly here, I can delete it. But it still seems to have another layer in between. So let's delete that as well. Okay. Delete that. You don't need that. And it seems that it has a liquid in the inside. Uh, to see, I think it's supposed to be a liquid type of material, so I don't have a liquid, but maybe let me try something else. Uh, maybe something like 
a color that looks like what I like maybe red color inside and then for the cord part I have a material called the cord material C O R K that I can use yep that is a cloud material so now I have a a bottle glides typically in this kind of situation uh, you should have some kind of a label as part of the bottle right so so maybe one way you can do is that put the cursor at the more or less center of the bottle and add a simple plane So this label is just one of those simple label material that uh, you can always create. All right, just maybe call it new and then add a texture of image. Press period again so that I can see that thing I wanted to label it. I do have a few label already set up so maybe just select one of them black and red label so this will be the label that attached to this particular wine bottle uh, maybe make it a little bit smaller all right or oh, smaller still and and then uh, join it to the bottle all right so let me go back to layout again so I have this wine bottle with the label joined together and I also have a cup and and glass all joined up so now I have one thing called a wine glass that have a content liquid that looks in red color so now that I realize I have done this by parts, um, it will be too tedious for me to repeat the same process for the other bottles. So the best way is for me to remove them. X to delete. And then use an array uh, to repeat it. Uh, you know, instead of you having to convert material for each one of them, maybe about six of that or seven of that. I can put seven on the shelf. All right, so now I have a wine bottle that consists of this particular. Next to it, I have a bottle that looks like a beer bottle. I think I have an asset that is already set up for beer bottle. Uh, I think it's this one beer bottle image yeah you can see this uh, image is kind of for the whole bottle so so I, I think because it is one single object I can simply just link it to the same material that that will give me the beer bottle We can do the same thing and repeat for the rest. Uh, so the speed up, uh, I think you can try other type of way to go do this. But uh, yeah, I, I would simply just do a quick way. Uh, this is similar material, but you know, this material happened to have a particular image already add into it. I will make all this have the same material. To look closer to this material, uh, I think it's interesting to see this one. Uh, press period back to here. Okay, I, I, I'm looking at this. 
the reason why you see the word twisted in this material is that basically this is a glass material all right it's brown so the the, the concept here is that you're trying to add a material that kind of blend into the glass so so you, all you have to do is just put an image file into the base color to, to make it have this kind of a blended color is it, the reason because you have this is is that um, the material that I use uh, is this orangey white background so so the fact that I have that is that I have orange blend with uh, with this color so the original color is brown so orange with brown appear to give you that effect but it because it's a class material and you have this white color uh, label it, it blends very well into a, a trans kind of a translucent uh, wine bottle so that that is one way you can create that style effect all right so I I guess the rest is just trying to match it looks more realistic um, and on I notice you have a bench top maybe one color that go well with this is the wood base color uh, I have a few wood base color maybe try this one yeah this one looks pretty good and maybe this and this can be the same material Okay, that looks okay to me. So the color and of material that you like is really a personal choice. Uh, I think this one maybe I'll put something like a black material for the shelf. All right, link them up. So that would be the shelf color. Mm, I'll leave the rest as it is if you want, but you know, again, it's all fine tuning. The metal bar maybe looks better if you put aluminum white. All right, that's more like a metal color. The bar holder, uh, I guess, instead of green, maybe you want it to be That kind of complete the uh, enhancement, except that I still want the advertisement thing that looks pretty interesting that I see on the reference diagram. So, but I need I need to have like a box thing that follow the shape of the top. So to have the same shape, I, I guess the easy way is that if I go into a solid mode, just focusing on the shape since we already have something here uh, okay maybe one idea is that we will extend the top and make it into a banner right so select the object tab and then uh, maybe E to extend Z, Z up to the top around this height I think should be 
able to do the display of the advertisement. Looks good. Okay, that's done. All right, so now how am I going to put the advertisement into the face? So uh, if I do a tab and select all, I only want to put this the advertisement on the on the flat surfaces, right? Um, the thing that I have to do it is uh, a little bit of a trick by UV. You saying the UV editor, right? Um, so I will just start with the front part because it's flat. It's easy to just do that UV editing. Um, I will prepare this particular advertisement image called the logo JP. Uh, if I repress period, all right. So now I want that part of the flat surface displaying this logo. So how do I do it? Is I selected a surface, right? And I just want to confirm that I do a U. Hold on. Do a U, uh, do a U. Uh, sorry, I have to make sure that I select the dot here. Otherwise, it, this command won't go. I press U to unwrap, All right? Mm. And you notice that I now have this flat surface unwrap. So to make sure that it is able to show this part of the image. I have to select the top part and then G. Okay, that covered that image. All right, and then, uh, okay. So now to put the material, I have this one. Uh, Surface, surface, assign a group, add a material for advertisement. So I have already set up a, a image which will display that. So now I have this particular material assigned to this uh, part of the object face, but it's in the reverse order. So what do I do? Uh, one way is going back into the UV editing. Uh, select all, oops, select, select all, press all, and then rotate it, R, rotate. All right, you can see now it is in the proper order. So this is a quick way to do the front part. So the challenge now is what about the other part where it has kind of a curve structure. So. So what I will do is I, I will select them separately. Okay. And assign that as well to that material. But the UV is different, right? So let me try the U unwrap this part. Notice that now I have this big thing coming out on this corner. Uh, in order to be able to maybe display a couple of this uh, picture, I will rotate it. And maybe I want to display this, this tree picture. I will expand on it. Right, you can see that the pictures are coming out 
nicely on the screen. Uh, what I want to do now is to maybe cover a little bit more. Okay, you can see that now it's displaying three pictures on that corner. So that works nicely. So we can repeat the same thing here. Assign, assign this. UV red. Mm, select all, press A, R, rotate, but this time I want it to display the other side of the pictures. So I move it G to move it over here and expand it. Rotate it, adjust a little bit. Mm, G, X, to move it a little bit. S, X, to extend it. A little bit more okay that covers that maybe a bit of adjustment but anyway it's I think that's good enough more or less covering what I want to show on the screen and finally this one on the left flat side I can do the same thing unwrap this All right, you can see I'm, I'm adjusting this position by looking at the picture here and see what looks nice. All right, to complete that, we will do the same thing here. Assign that same material. U, unwrap, is over here. Uh, A to select all, G, X, and Rotate it a little bit to make sure that the beer is upright and not sideways. Okay, and uh, expand it by pressing S. Oops, I'm still in wrong. R to rotate again back to position it correctly. So this one is just showing a beer. Alright, so it looks like I have something that looks similar to the reference diagram. Again, uh, just so that you know why why the advertisement is sh lighting up is because of the way the shading is set up. If you go into the shading mode of the TV screen advertisement, uh, you you see that you have a very similar setup as the one that was done for the TV. Uh, with the intention that it, it lights up uh, so that you can see the picture. Again, if you want, you can adjust how bright you want that to be. Uh, to see it better, you, it's best to put it in random mode. Now you can see it's pretty well light up, right? On the TV screen and advertisement. Okay, now back into the layout. Uh, obviously, the counter itself is too dark. Uh, just add uh, one or two light things to it. Uh, I think the the point light should be, should do the trick. I think the point light is uh, should be somewhere in the center. So G Y move the and nearer to the top G Z. And uh, maybe make it 1,000. Or oh, okay, not enough. Maybe 100,000. All right, that that's kind of light at one side, and you can, with the lights you selected, you can always either shift it to duplicate it and move it to the other side. No, it's still not very nice. It light up from the inside. So, giving the I want it to be a bit, a bit more even lighting across 
the entire bar, I think I should add uh, an area light. Yeah, it should be an area light. And by default, it's pointing downwards. So just make it bigger, maybe 50. And move it upwards. Make it double the size. And, and uh, increase the power, maybe 10,000. No, not good enough. 200,000. Okay, lights up better, maybe even higher. All right, now we have a bar counter that is well lit up. Uh, you can obviously add more lighting here and there to make it, you know, looks nicer. But I think the gist of it is pretty much what we wanted. Uh, the top part, I can't see the, uh, this particular bar thing because I use it to stand as a box. So what I could do is I could use the pink bar, duplicate it, G, Z, move it up, and, and uh, assign it to blue because that was what we want to be similar to the screen there, maybe another blue or not. Yeah, I think that's more like what we prefer to similar to the uh, one on the screen, maybe make it a bit less uh, thinner as I said. Thinner and higher. I don't know, somewhere, yeah. Well, okay. So, not exactly the same, but it does, you know, emulate similar to what you see on the screen. The chair is a bit modern, you know, you may, can make it, the chair a little bit more interesting by lighting up. Maybe one pink, one blue. One green. And one, well, pink again, maybe. All right, so we link the two color. Not too bad, right? Um, for a light up. So that kind of ends the demonstration on how I enhance an asset. Um, Sometimes when you enhance an asset, uh, because you know it is from a set of material that an object created by someone else, but you if you want to reuse your material, you have to somehow try to organize your 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 objects and name it into the way that you can use it again, right? Uh, for example, this is a reel, right? If I would select a reel and go to the outliner and press the period to zoom into that material. It is, oh, I think it's either German or, or Spanish, Russian name. So if I want to put it in English, I will call it real. And bar, for example. All right. And press period again to see that I have called it real bar. That's one thing, uh, but you know, that's because it's unique. However, for those real holders, uh, like this one and this one, and so on. I, I would think you should group them so that you can know that they are all the same thing. At the moment, they are called yoga, yoga no ga, all right? All right, just select them, press Control J to join them as one and call it real bar holder. All right, and so on. So, this is a matter of organizing all your objects into meaningful way that you can use again. So instead of me going through every one of that, I already done that. I press minus and, and I just want to show you that I have already completed this in in a, another separate work. So I will pass it as part of the file in a demo. Uh, 
for download. Um, I, I just show you that I did that uh, before this tutorial just to show you that you can you know do something similar and and that if I go to the outline editor, I just want to show you how I organize these objects into collections of similar uh, type of object like glasses. I put them together and then name them together the way that makes sense. All right. Uh, I didn't do it for all, but I think it, the concept is that you, you should name things something you can understand and can you reuse again. As a bonus, I, I provide you another glass that wasn't in the original object download, uh, a beer glass, right? With a beer beer uh, liquid inside with foam. So that, that that's all I added on top of the object that I got from the bar counter and the TV. So, uh, yeah, so this enhanced uh, bar counter on the right is already done by me that you can use as a reference for for your checking. And, and the one on the left is something that I just completed. But when you get the download, you notice that the one on the original will be what it was, all right, without any uh, enhancement done in this tutorial. So this is what you will get. You know, in the tutorial download file and you also have this bar counter enhancement on the right hand side. Hope this will help you to learn how we can quickly enhance uh, an asset and also uh, with the uh, provided material. Uh, many of them I believe you can use again for other type of enhancement. Okay, bye. Hope you enjoy the video. Thank you for watching.